Hey everybody, I'm Tyler, and today we are going to transform your pentatonic scale with just one note. Are you tired of playing the same chops with your pentatonic scale and your guitar player or your piano player is looking at you wondering when you're going to figure out how to play some more tasteful, some more melodic lines? We need to add something to that pentatonic scale so that you're not just playing this all day. <laughs> If, if that's what your solos sound like, then this is the video for you. You're going to really get some useful information out of this one. We are going to be working with the minor pentatonic scale instead of the major pentatonic scale. So the minor pentatonic scale contains a one. We're in the key of D for the purposes of this video. We're going to have our one, which is a D. Then we're going to have our flat three, which is an F. Now I'm saying flat three because we are basing these scale degrees off of the major scale, Ionian. So if this would be the major three, that's our flat three, okay? So we got our one, flat three, which is F, four is G, our five is A. We got our flat seven, which is C. And then we're back up on the D. And I, you can have Tons of fun with that scale. You can play all day. You can play with your friends, and uh, generally no one's going to complain. That's that's a great place to start. It gets you playing. It gets you jamming. It's good. We're going to take that pentatonic scale, and we're going to add one note to it, and it's really going to start twisting some ears. What note am I talking about that I'd like to add? I like to refer to this note as the Dorian 6. Why do I call it the Dorian 6 instead of just the natural 6 or... Let's call it the Ionian 6. You can call it just the 6. I like to call it the Dorian 6 because the pentatonic scale that we are working with, the minor pentatonic, has a flat 3. So you're kind of assuming that this minor pentatonic, if you were to fill out the chords and add the 2, you'd have a major 2. You'd have your flat 3, minor 3rd, 4, 5, flat 6. That's an Aeolian scale. That's not the six I want to add. That is a lame six. We want to add the Dorian six. Yeah. Dorian six is super, super groovy. It, even though it's really, I would consider this an in sound, it's the first out sound that I started working with outside of my pentatonic scale. You've got this for months, years maybe. And then when you start going people are going to start noticing that note. So just with one note, all of a sudden, your solos are starting to sound beefier. Maybe you're, you're even creating bass lines with that. I love doing a funky bass line. Mm. And, and, and it, it's just so damn groovy. <laughs> I'm gonna make that face every time I play that out. <clears throat> so, how to use the Dorian 6. It's there, and it's it, just like with your pentatonic scale, you're probably gonna have some easy luck just kind of falling into some good habits with playing that note. Um, you really can't mess it up. Uh, you know if you've heard probably anybody speaking about half-step resolutions, so if you're gonna hit that Dorian 6, it's really nice to take that up to the flat seven of D. Or you can go down to the five. Now, I don't like that. Don't do that. That just sounds kind of like we're doing major pentatonic. I don't know. Anyways, that's not what we're doing. So I created a backing track now. I've only got Logic drum samples. Uh, currently, haven't bought any new drum samples. So bear with me if you absolutely hate the sound of this track that I created. I didn't spend a lot of time on it, but I'm going to put it in there and we are going to experiment 
with that sound a little bit so you can hear the full flavor. Yeah, so what do we have going on there? In that track, basically, just some logic drums with an A minor 7 over a D is what I'm playing, is a D groove. In that A minor 7, there is no Dorian 6, so it kind of leaves itself open for interpretation. I didn't want to force that flavor, uh, but we can imply that flavor by putting it in there ourselves. So let's, uh, let's give it another crank. Maybe uh, see if we can develop a little bit more motifs with that. So just to recap, all we did today was take our minor pentatonic scale in D and we added the Dorian 6, as I like to call it. I call it the Dorian 6 because the minor pentatonic and the Dorian scale both share a flat 3 and the Dorian scale has this 6, which is different than the alien scale, the natural minor scale, which has the flat 6. So try enjoying that natural 6th when you're playing in your next solo. If you enjoyed learning about the Dorian 6 and how to make your pentatonic scale sound even better, then I'm going to encourage you to check out this video series that I have created for you right here. It's about how you can unlock your fretboard and you can really start diving into these modes all the way up and down your fretboard. Have a great day.